Hi everyone, this is Matthew Archambo for DrawingTutorialsOnline.com and in this tip of the week it won't be too much about drawing but I do want to talk about the importance of anatomy and how anatomy plays a very very important role in your memory drawings and life drawings and what I'm doing here for everyone uh, all the members of uh, Drawing Tutorials Online is I, I can't really show the photo of the model because it's just totally full frontal nude but what I do is I take a pose and then I, I draw the anatomy inside that pose and we're starting off doing the um, bones and we're going to eventually get to the muscles. There's a lot and what I tell the people on my website is to you know take it slow with anatomy and to um, you know take it in bite-sized chunks. I think that's very important because what usually happens to most artists who are well-intentioned is they go to the bookstore uh, they buy a book on anatomy and they flip through it and it makes them feel good until they start getting overwhelmed and, and then they put it down and they're like, okay, I, I understand the kneecap and I understand the collarbone, but the rest is just too much. So what I try to do for the members is I do like at least one, I try to do one a week uh, of, of uh, like a bone or a part of the body. So the last tutorial that I did was... Uh, the femur, okay, and what I really talk about, I mean, yeah, it's fine for me to kind of come on in here and uh, I've got this thing taped down and, and talk about all the terms and I give everyone the terms, but it's not about the terms, it's not about understanding all the words. Uh, you want to understand the surface anatomy and you want to understand, you know, why this little bump on the hip happens. Why is that coming on out? Because the great trochanter is pushing that out. And, and you want to understand if you see like a little mark over here on, on the pelvis, um, what's happening under the skin. And so, you know, that would be the iliac crest. So what happens is a little anatomy goes a real long way. Now, I, I would suggest to you all to go to the bookstore Barnes and Nobles and, and find an anatomy book that you like and, and copy some of the drawings out of it. Uh, if you're interested in, in something a little bit more deeper, uh, I have this thing on my website where I have all of these different you know anatomy photos that I've taken from a teaching uh, skeleton and they really give you pretty good clues as to what to look for and I, I usually, um, there was one pose that I did, it was uh, figured drawn digitally uh, the layered approach and I, I put the skeleton in that position and so this is extremely helpful so you can see what's happening under the skin now why is it so important to as an artist to understand surface anatomy well the reason why it's so important is because if you don't put some anatomy into your figure drawings what winds up happening is that your drawings look like um, they were made out of rubber and they don't look they don't kind of have that chiseled realistic look and it's not about copying things exactly this you can kind of like exaggerate your figures and, and throw some really you know key points of like anatomy in there like the iliac crest or like this coastal margin on the rib cage and, and it'll just really make a huge difference now today I'm going to um, work on this and uh, like I said unfortunately I'd love to show you the figure because she matches up perfectly but I can't on YouTube because it's full frontal nude um, but what I'm doing here uh, today is uh, this is my warm-up drawing for the members and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on into this thing and I'm going to start to draw in the uh, tibia and the fibula and talk about the key landmarks that you really need to look for so your bodies don't look like mush and they look like you know human form uh, and I really primarily focus on surface anatomy stuff that's going to really be at the surface of the skin and that you see over and over and over again. Well, I appreciate you watching and uh, look forward to showing you another tip of the week soon.